Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will give a short intro on BMS using passive cell balancing. Here is the complete design and if you want to purchase this file, then I will add link in description below. You can go and purchase this file. Once you purchase this file, you will get on zip file. Just extract it. Inside zip folder, you will get these many files. Like you will get one report, then simulation result, images and XLX file. Okay, here is the SLX file. You can see here. Well, let's come back to Simulink. Here is the design and here I'm using total three cells. This is cell one, cell two and cell three. The aim of BMS is to perform cell balancing and protect the battery pack from overload conditions. Here is the protection circuit. Inside this subsystem, there is a relay. It will sense the fault and it will send signal to this switch and bms also performs efficient charging and discharging here is the load okay and now let me run this file once i run this file i will share with you soc results we will see waveforms okay how the soc of cell 1 cell 2 and cell 3 are becoming equal and how the charging waveform is there everything i will share with you First, let me share with you initial SOC of cell 1, cell 2 and cell 3. The initial SOC of cell 1 is 45% and initial SOC of cell 2 is 23% and initial SOC of cell 3 is 35%. You can also see SOC value in display. Here you can see this is cell 1 SOC, cell 2 SOC and cell 3 SOC. And this is based on passive cell balancing. In passive cell balancing, we are wasting energy through resistors to make SOC of cells equal. But in case of active cell balancing, we will transfer energy from one cell to other cell or from two cells to one cell. Well, it is uh, this design is on passive cell balancing. Now I will run this simulating. Okay. Let me change this uh, stop time. Sorry, sorry, wait a minute. Wait a second. Okay. Now I will run this. First, the SOC of cell 1, cell 2, and cell 3 will become equal. Once the SOC of cell 1, cell 2, and cell 3 will become equal, the charging part will charge the battery pack. And later, you can connect load also. Well, let me run this. Here you can see the SOC value. Once the SOC of cell 1, cell 2 and cell 3 will become equal, the battery pack will get charged. Here you can see the battery pack is getting charged. Now I will pause this. Well, and let me share with you waveform. Here you can see first the SOC of cell 1, cell 2 and cell 3 are becoming equal. Then the battery pack is getting charged. Here you can see it is reached to 100%. Now let me connect load and I will disconnect charging part. I will make this constant 0 and I will connect load with the battery back. And now you can also see here SOC value. Now you can see the SOC is decreasing because just I have connected load. Now I will pause this and let me share with you waveform. Here you can see SOC is decreasing. Now I will create fault. Here you can see we have added one circuit in parallel with the load. If any overload condition occurs inside this subsystem, there is a relay, it will sense the overload condition then it will send signal to this MOSFET and this MOSFET will isolate the system. Now I will click on continue and I will create fault. See if fault occurs the simulation will stop automatically and here you can see the SOC value. Here is the waveform and SOC is around 38.7%. Well, now let me change SOC value. Okay, this time I will keep initial SOC to 
this I will keep to 20% okay then for cell 2 I will make it around uh, oh, it will be 12 fine and for cell 3 I will make initial SOC 45 okay the cell which has lowest SOC that is I think cell 2 that is 12 percent okay when I run this uh, design cell 1 and cell 3 SOC will also become 12 then once the SOC of cell 1 cell 2 and cell 3 are equal the charging part will charge the this battery back now I will make this one again and I will disconnect load I will also remove fault now I will run this file again here you can see the SOC of cell 1 cell 2 and cell 3 first came to 12 then the battery pack is getting charged let's pause this simulation again and here you can see the waveform here you can see the SOC of cell 1 cell 2 and cell 3 are equal at around uh, after 2200 seconds then the battery pack is getting charged now the SOC of cell 1 cell 2 and cell 3 is 76.2 okay now I will disconnect this charging part and I will connect load and you can see here SOC values now we can see SOC is decreasing and now I will connect or I will make a fault okay and the simulation will stop when fault occurs this is how BMS works BMS performs various functions like uh, it will perform self balancing then protection from overload over current under voltage over voltage conditions then it will also conduct efficient charging and discharging well guys this was on just prototype or MATLAB simulating simulation if you want to purchase this file then I will add link in description below you can go and purchase this file and if you need any kind of service related to digital marketing or hardware services software services and trading service then you can visit our website that is cash tiles we will add link in description below you can also visit this website thank you for watching this video have a nice day